Hey guys, welcome to Hersey's Garage, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to change out your sway bar lengths, the front ones, uh, specifically on this 2008 Honda Ridgeline, uh, but it can be for pretty much any vehicle that has sway bar lengths. Uh, so stay tuned, and I'll show you how easy it is. All right, before we get started, I'm gonna show you some tools that you're gonna need and uh, some of the optional ones that uh, you might want uh, to make your job a little easier. Uh, so let's begin here. Uh, the first one is obviously you're gonna be your sway bar links uh, too, because I'm gonna be replacing uh, both on each side on the front there. Uh, and I recommend you doing that because if you just replace one, uh, the other one is probably uh, right behind it, uh, the old one, uh, to fail. So. Please do both. You'll need some uh, eye protection. Always got to be safe. Uh, these are uh, chocks to go behind your uh, wheels. So when you jack up your vehicle, what you're going to need to do that, um, it's not going to roll back on you or your head or something. Um, you can use a 2x4 or whatever as long as uh, it doesn't have to be fancy things like these, but as long as it's going to keep the, the wheels from uh, uh, or the vehicle from um, coming back on you. That's a uh, probably a good thing. Uh, then you're going to need jack stands, of course the jack, um, then you have uh, a socket set, and then uh, box uh, wrenches. Then you want your socket wrench, and uh, then some optional stuff is uh, like the gloves. I always use gloves because I don't want that uh, grease and crap on my hands, uh, plus it helps uh, with the nicks and scrapes and stuff. Um, and then a hex head uh, wrench set. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what size, but it goes in this guy right here. And I'll show you if you can see this. Um, sometimes when you're going to take these out, let's take the nut off here, and this is just a protective covering. Uh, it's got a little spot here where you can put an open-ended wrench on but some of them don't have that and all they have is this little spot in here to hold the ball joint inside here from moving so you put your hex head right inside here hold that and then you can turn this little nut here onto here and this whole thing won't move because if you just try to tighten this up when you're putting on there, this nut, this thing's eventually going to spin this whole thing around if you don't have a, um, a wrench on this part right here. So that's why you need this hex head wrench. Then uh, I usually have a, uh, another optional tool here is the uh, socket wrench. Um, and it's non-moving and it's more like a cheater bar just in case you need that extra leverage That's always good. And of course the impact wrench uh, or, or impact gun uh, so you can easily remove your uh, lug nuts on your wheels and stuff like that uh, without having to use uh, Anything else that it makes it much easier. So these are the tools that you will need or optional ones so let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is go inside your vehicle and hit the emergency brake. Next thing we're gonna do is since I'm working on the front, I'm gonna go ahead and put the chocks or whatever you have to brace the wheel in the back. I'm gonna put them on the back. So nothing rolls back when I jack the vehicle up. Then we're gonna loosen up the lug nuts while the vehicle is on the ground so the wheel doesn't turn and it makes a heck of a lot easier. You don't really need to worry about that if you have an impact wrench, but um, if you don't, this is gonna be a better step than to raise the vehicle and uh, have the wheel start turning while you're trying to wrench these uh, uh, loose. Next, I'm going to place the jack underneath the vehicle and then place the jack stands in their proper place in the front. Voila! Now you can take the rest of the lug nuts off and take your wheel off. 
Okay, and now that the wheel's off, what I like to do is just as an added safety measure, I like to put the wheels underneath uh, the bottom right by your jack stands. It just is a secondary measure just in case it comes down. It's not gonna flatten you if you're underneath there working. And this is exposes uh, all your suspension components here. And here are the uh, uh, sway bar links that you need to um, take off. So I'm gonna get some tools uh, and show you what to do next. Okay, before we start wrenching, it's always a good idea to put a little bit of uh, a some type of a brake loose. This is a uh, SuperTech, which is a Walmart brand. Uh, but this, you, all you do is spray on the the uh, little uh, uh, nut here, and and hopefully it will loosen up some of the rust and all that crap that's on here because these things can be a pain in the rear to get off if you don't. So liberally spray all around here like this just to get in there and get some of that, uh, hopefully remove some of the rust and get uh, so you can loosen it up. And do that on all, all two here and then two on the other side. All right, next what we're gonna do is on your um, ball joint here uh, is you're going to place on the back side a open-ended wrench and find the little um, uh, wedge back there like I sh said, showed you on this let's go back to this one this is the new one that little spot is right back here and that's where you place your open-ended wrench on the back side of here right here there's just a little spot where you can put your wrench on there. So you stick it right there, in there. And this one just happens to be a three quarter inch. And then on this one, you can stick a uh, socket on there. And this one just happens to be a 17 inch, or excuse me, 17 millimeter. So I place that on there and then putting force down and then putting force up go ahead and try to loosen them up and I actually have loosened them up and see if you just go ahead and, and loosen it like this it moves the the, the uh, joint in here and uh, so that's not going to do any good any good so you have to put force down and then up and you can get those off really easy and if it doesn't for some reason it's really stuck on there you might have to hit uh, I forgot uh, t uh, another tool that you might need is a rubber mallet and you can use that on the end of your um, uh, wrench here and kind of hit it up to get it to uh, unstuck and if for some reason they're really really horrible um, you might need to put a little bit of, of heat around these uh, nuts before you actually try to loosen them up but that's just in extreme cases um, so uh, if yours is like mine, uh, it comes off pretty simple. So you do that for each one. Now for installation, it's the exact opposite. The only thing that you wanna do with the new ones here is you wanna make sure that you take off the nut and then remove this um, plastic covering this is just a to help so it doesn't get uh, in during shipping doesn't get anything inside here and mess uh, your joint up in here so you want to take that off throw that away and then you can do the same thing um, I usually like to wipe off the surfaces here to make sure everything's grease free and crap and then you stick it in the exact way that it had before in there just like this and then you put your nut on there and then you do the exact same thing you put your your uh, uh, open-ended wrench on here on the back side and then start tightening this down and tighten it uh, I'll get you the the, the uh, uh, torque uh, specs um, but it's really hard to like on the back side to get an actual torque wrench on there so I usually just tighten it as pretty much as, as, as much as I can 
Um, but like I said, all down in the description below or right up here when I actually edit the video, I'll show you the actual torque spec that you're supposed to have on here. So let's get to putting it in there. And as you might notice, I didn't stick any Loctite on the threads or anything because on these nuts themselves, they have a little plastic piece inside here, which this is a locking nut washer. Uh, or locking nut, not a locking nut washer, <laughs> a locking nut. So when you put it on there, it's not gonna back itself out because it's got that little plastic uh, little uh, insert there that helps lock it down. So that was just one of the quick tip there. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. All in there. Let's get in there and show the back side. There's the back side. That's the upper one and the lower one right there. And she's in. That's it, that's how easy it is. And then the next steps are putting your tire back on, tightening up the uh, lug nuts, just tight enough to uh, where the tire is on there. And then drop your jack down, take your, of course, your tire out of there, and then take your jack stands out, put your tire back, or uh, uh, the tire should be on, obviously, and, and tighten up a little bit uh, and then once the pressure is off from the jack uh, and uh, the vehicle uh, weight is on there then you can tighten up your lug nuts all the way to the specific uh, uh, torque setting and I'll show that up here or down in the description below and uh, you are done my friends that's how easy it is so I guess I will see you on the next one peace